if you want to. Yeah, I was gone the past two weeks. But yeah, while I was gone, I actually got two subscription boxes that came while I was gone. So usually I do these by themselves, but I thought for this one I would just do them together and have a slightly longer video. I got my May Book Box Club and then I got my May Owl Crate as well. So both of these boxes are monthly book subscription services. So you get a book and then you get four to five kind of bookish or like fandom items. I've gotten Owl Crate once before and I've gotten Book Box Club twice before and I really like both of them. Yeah, it's just fun getting a surprise book that you wouldn't typically buy yourself. But yeah, so Owl Crate is American actually and then Book Box Club is from the UK and both come really quickly anyway and I live in Ireland. So yeah, I think I will start with Book Box Club. Yeah, these are both the May boxes I believe. Okay, so this is the spoiler card. So it's Who Done It. So I'm assuming it's a murder mystery. So this has info on the book and all the items that you get in the box. So I'll kind of read it as I go through. But yeah, you get a little invite for, I think it's kind of like a, a Zoom call um, to talk to the author about the book with any of your questions. And they give you plenty of time to read it. It's usually like two months in advance. Okay, there's two things like just right on top. I think this is a bath bomb, is it? Okay, so this seems to be a bath bomb. The Cherry Bomb Boutique seems to be the company that made it. It's called a moustache uh, question bath bomb. So it's a moustache. Cool, so it's peppermint and juniper bath. That is really cute. I'm just gonna see what this is inspired by. Oh, Perrault. Is it Perrault? Perrault? I think that's an Agatha Christie. It's the French detective that has the crazy moustache. I'll insert a picture here. <laughs> I'm aware of the show. My mum loves the show. I'm not quite sure about the books, but yeah, that's quite nice. Um, I love taking baths, so this will be used very soon. And yeah, this is by the Cherry Bomb Boutique, which seems to be an Etsy shop. Okay, the next one is a gorgeous candle. So this is Miss Scarlet. Oh, I'd say that's Cluedo. Yeah, it's gorgeous and glittery. Oh, that is stunning. Yeah, I'd say that's Cluedo inspired, is it? Yeah, it's Cluedo. <laughs> Mm, it's kind of strawberry scented, I think. I wonder did different people get different candles in their boxes, like different characters. But yeah, Cluedo, so that's a, a base on the board game. I had that game growing up. I must get it again. It's very fun. But yeah, I love glittery candles. I love them. This was made by Bookish Burns. I've heard of them before, actually. I'm going to add them to my little collection here. Okay, the next one is a little pin. This is Elementary. So of course, that's Sherlock Holmes. So I think it is his hat. And a magnifying glass. Cool, that's really nice. Yeah, so Baker Street's Elementary Super Sleuth. And uh, what I'll do as well is I'll list all the companies in my description as well. So this pin was made by Pin and Ink. But yeah, I love that these boxes really support small companies like on Etsy and like mini creators. So the next thing is a pen. So yeah, it says What Would Nancy Drew Do? If you can see that. And there is a mini ball bearings in it. I think you're supposed to try to get it to the bottom. <laughs> so yeah, that's a cool pen. So obviously this is inspired by Nancy Drew. So it doubles as a maze game. It doesn't say who it was made by, but yeah, that's quite fun. Okay, and the last thing is this notebook. So it just says detective notes. Oh, there's two. There's actually two. Okay, they're both just plain notebooks. So they're just blank. They're very handy. Always need notebooks. So yeah, these were designed by Ali Joe Art. Okay, they did the theme really well. Like Detective and a Pen, Nancy Drew, Sherlock Holmes and Piro. Oh, I love everything I got in the box. Okay, I'm just gonna open the book. It's a really big hardback. Oh my gosh, this book is stunning. So this is Marion Lake and the Midnight Murder. And the author is T.A. Wilberg. She's a South African author. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. And there's the signature card. So usually I stick these in the book. Yeah, I'm assuming it's a murder mystery. So they were a band of private detectives who lived beneath the streets of London in a labyrinth of twisted tunnels and ancient hallways, the entrance to which no one has ever found. The inquirers were something of a myth to the citizens of London, a whispered legend that may or may not exist, depending on whom you ask. They were like ghosts and some said these sleuths have guarded the city. Okay, so it's kind of like a secret society type book. That's definitely the prettiest book I've gotten from Book Box Club. Yeah, so happy with that. Yeah, I think my favourite thing is definitely the book and the candle. Just because I love Trudeau and this is beautiful. But yeah, great box. Their theme was on point. <laughs> Okay, so I thought I'd move on to Owl Crate. Much smaller box, but I think they really do pack things in. Oh, okay, so just on top, there seems to be some sort of bag. Okay, <laughs> um, I'll take out the spoiler card first. 
So the theme is expect the unexpected. Oh my gosh, it's a tote bag. <laughs> so the quote says, I think it says, may we meet again on distant shores. And it actually has a zip and it's kind of this corduroy material. I love it. I needed a new tote bag, so that's perfect. My last one, a uh, pen spilled. <laughs> oh my gosh, and it's velvet inside. Oh, the quality of this is stunning. I'm in love with this bag. It's gorgeous. It would be really good for book shopping. So it is inspired by the Illuminae Files trilogy. Obsidio is the book. Never heard of it. But yeah, I'll insert a picture like here. So that's where the quote is from. And I think the hand lettering was done by Studio Kyra Calligraphy. I love this. I actually love this. It would be so handy for shopping. I love that it has a zip. So yeah, the next thing is, I think it's a bandana, but it's inspired by Rule of Wolves, which I have. So that is the King of Scars duology for the Grishaverse. I haven't got to yet. I've read the trilogy. I need to do the Six of Crows duology and then the King of Scars duology, but I have them there. Oh, this is so pretty. So the quote is, we're all monsters now. Actually, can I fit that in the screen? It's actually stunning. I actually think I would stick this on my wall, kind of like a tapestry rather than a neck scarf. Yeah, I love that. This is like perpetually tempted to reread the Grishaverse series, constantly rewatching the show. I haven't watched the show yet. Oh, I want to get Six of Crows done before I do, but this is so stunning. But yeah, I think I will use this as wall decor rather than an actual scarf. And yet this was made by Out of Print is the company. Okay, so the next thing is a pin. This says, logic ends where love begins. I think it's a little, kind of the ocean, and then there's the sun and moon. This is made by Icy Designs as well. Okay, and this is inspired by the book that comes with the box. There's so many things in this box. So I have a box here. It sounds like it's made of tin. This is stunning. So this is Crowned Captains, Deadly Pirate Kings and Queens. And it's basically a tin fake book. So I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still. And it's just a tin case. That is so pretty. I'm pretty sure that's inspired by the Darker Shade of Magic. Oh yes, and this has been, I think if you've been subscribed to Owlcrate, before. I think this has been a series, but this is my first one. Yeah, so it's inspired by Grey London for our Darker Shade of Magic. I've never read but heard amazing things. That is so pretty. So yeah, it could really sit in your bookshelf and look like a book. Okay, the next thing seems to be like a metal bookmark. Oh, there's two. Do you know what? I don't think you're supposed to get two. I think I got two by mistake. Um, yeah, there was two tied together here. But yeah, you're supposed to get one bookmark. That's okay, I'm okay with that. So yeah, these are metal bookmarks. So the quote is, neither myths nor mysteries can hold a candle to the most infinitesimal, infinitesimal spark of hope. And then hope in the shadow of fear is the world's most powerful motivator. Okay, this is inspired by, is it Scythe and the Fifth Season? But yeah, I accidentally got two. Only one tassel though. Okay, there's also this little thing. I think it's a sticker. So it says most myths are just truths covered in cobwebs with a vinyl sticker. So you could probably like stick that on your laptop or something. So this is, I think it's part of the Gilded Wolves series. That's lovely. It feels really good quality. Yeah, where to stick it is the <laughs> is the question. I think on my laptop. I think that'd be cool for my MacBook. So here's the book. So this is the ones we're meant to find, and the author is Joan He. So yeah, you get a lovely letter from the author. Okay, the end pages are stunning. And then there's this lovely oil design. And yes, it is signed by the author. Okay, I believe this is about two sisters that have been separated and they try to find each other. Okay, it's been three years and 17 days since Cece woke up on the shore of an abandoned island. She has no idea how she came to be marooned or what her life was like before. She only has a rickety house by the sea, the android she built for company. Oh, this is futuristic too. And a single memory. Somewhere beyond the horizon, she has a sister and it's up to sea to... Oh, sorry, sea. I said Cece. Sea. To escape the island and find her. A world away, 16-year-old STEM prodigy Casey is also looking to escape 
from the sign she once believed in and from her home. Oh, this is kind of black mirror I think. The Eco cities, Earth's last unpopulated habitants, are meant to be a sanctuary for those from deserving lineages, for those committed to sanitary protection, but instead they're populated by people willing to do anything for refuge, even lie. Um, after a series of man-made disasters rock her planet, Casey must decide if she's ready to use science to help humanity, even though it failed the people who mattered most to her. Okay, very Black Mirror vibes, I think. So on the spoiler card, it says it's If We Were Liars meets Black Mirror with a dash of Studio Ghibli. That sounds class. <laughs> so definitely kind of like dystopian Black Mirror future. Possibly twins, they look very alike. So yeah, you also get a little booklet. Okay, so here's the, the Owl Crate version is a little bit more purple and the regular one seems to be a little bit more blue-brown. So yeah, it gives you kind of like reading recommendations as well and an interview with the calligrapher of the bag and then like anticipated releases as well. I love this booklet. It's like a little book newsletter. Okay, and next month is Go Your Own Way. Okay, and every June box will include an enamel pin from Pineapple Sundays. That looks fun. Very nature inspired, I'd say. I don't know what my favourite thing was in that box. Probably the bag. It's probably the corduroy bag. So yeah, these are two stunning books. But yeah, I love just getting these surprises. You know, books that you wouldn't typically pick up. So yeah, that's my unboxing. I do these every month on my channel. Usually I do them individually, but I just thought I'd group them together for this one. I'll try to link all the companies I can in the link in the description, and then I'll leave my links for Goodreads and everything like that in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!